Hello, it is Ayikam Tem again. So after I released the song YouTube, I got many many questions and debate from our Wing Chuner friends and uh, internet art friends. And that give me the inspirations to share with you what I like to share with you today. The information I like to share with you today is extremely critical because if we violating this, we are guaranteed to go nowhere because there's no way we can guess, uh, translate, or speculate as we like. Chinese martial art, Chinese internal art is not for speculations. Uh, it has its uh, scientific and it has its uh, uh, way of doing things. Okay, otherwise it will never works. So what happened is this: a lot of people are actually. Uh, very confusing on the internal art, hard art, external art, soft art, or internal uh, train the breathing or the chi, externally train the uh, bones, and all this thing here, internal, external, hard, soft, it seems that everybody like to define their own thing as what they like. Okay, And this mess need to be sought out. If this mat is not sought out, guarantee it's not going to go anywhere and guarantee it's going to get stuck or even damage oneself. Okay? So this is the internal, soft, hard, external, uh, all kinds of mess here, which is uh, we want to address today. The second thing is this. For Wing Chun Kin, since 1840, up to today, 2016. Okay, and you see here, this is the Opium War it, uh, era, 1842. And uh, they are, this is the second Opium War at 1858. And uh, all this uprising, those kind of stuff. Okay, and between... 1840 and uh, 2016 we know that Chinese culture has a custom there it's like a gap it's a breakdown that uh, actually uh, what happened here in 1840 is mostly no longer know here in uh, 2016 and in the 2016 here we keeping guessing or speculate whatever up here in the 1840 and it is a mess okay and uh, not only the custom there you have the smoke screen which is purposely put up by the anti Qing uh, for whatever their reasons okay that also mess up the, the, the situation here and then you also have story created in the last uh, 80 years or so uh, based on uh, personal uh, speculation, which is not a court to whatever happened in the 1840s. So this, between the 1840 and today, hundreds, uh, 60, 170 years, 180 years, it is a mess here. And we need to cut through this. If we don't cut through this, just don't expect to get results there will be a better expectation, okay? Now, another thing is about, many people talk about yin yang. And uh, they will say, well, I train yin uh, style, I train, I train yang style, I have trained yin style too. I, have, I know the, 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 the techniques of the yin and the yang. Seriously? What the heck are we talking about? Yin and Yang, Yin and Yang, is like the two face of a coin. Whatever you see here, you always have a Yin Yang, meaning that if you cut from this point, 
you always have the yin and have the yang. And then if you cut from this point, you know, like this from this point, you always have a yin and a yang. It's like a, uh, uh, when we talk about the uh, action and reaction force. They always there, okay. It's only a matter of who is uh, more, who is less. Uh, there, there's no such thing as you, 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 you uh, practice something action force or practice something reaction force where you do not have action force or reaction force. Or meaning that, oh, there's a world which is only have yin or the world which is only have yang. I mean, come on, okay? But you can see a lot of people talk that way, okay? That means that they really speculate with their own understanding and they don't even know what happened here. In the uh, in the in the in the uh, original or the the the, the ancient Chinese uh, uh, culture, and with all this mess here, there's no way one go anywhere. So as far as I say, expect one don't go, one will not get any result. It's a better expectation, okay. And now. Let's uh, look into uh, the, 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 the ancient Chinese culture and the Western culture, okay? This, this one is by Nan Huai Jing, one of the top experts in the Chinese culture, okay, who have passed away years ago, only recently, okay? Mr. Nan Huai Jing. And here it talks about the strength of the Chinese culture, you know, which is uh, we, uh, we can read from the book and so forth. However, we need to stress that. Okay, here it say that if you want to get stuff done, Western culture is better. It's, the strength of the Western culture is to get stuff done because it is scientific It is scientific, it is systematic, and it is detailed. So the strength of the Western culture, okay, the strength of the Western culture is scientific, systematic, and details, okay? If you want to get stuff done, it is much better to use the Western cultural strength, systematic, scientific, and details, okay? <clears throat> so both the Eastern or the Chinese culture and the Western culture have its strength, okay? Now, we need to avoid, okay, not clear is not ultimate. Let me make you an example. A lot of people like to use the term qi, jing, okay, zen, Dao. Guess what? They don't even know what the heck they are talking about. And they thought that because if they keep it not clear, there's the ultimate, oh, Dao, Dao must not speak. Speak is Dao, whole bunch of stuff, okay? This is ridiculous when it comes to martial art because martial art is a technology, okay? Martial art is a techno is a technology. It's a technology. Martial art is not something fuzzy or not clear. Okay, that's why we can see here, even Mister Nan Huai Jing, who is the top uh, expert in the Chinese uh, culture studies, then uh, in Qi and so forth. He said it clearly. He put it clearly here. There's a strength in Chinese culture and Asia culture. However, the strength of the Western culture is scientific, systematic, and details. If you want to get things done, get stuff done good using the Western culture. Okay? And this is not a, not a surprise. You look at the technology today from building plane to, uh, to, to, to our computer and to the iPad Pro I'm using now. It is a part of Western culture, okay? So, uh, let face the reality, okay? Instead of uh, uh, getting all this uh, Qi, Jing, Zen, Dao, and all this thing, uh, God know what it is, okay? 
So the the Chinese culture have its place, the Western culture have its place, okay? And to move forward, we need to fuse the East and West. That's that what are uh, only that way we can have effective, efficient learning and we have a quality control and repeatable uh, result. Like uh, uh, everybody is using uh, a, a smartphone today. If we don't have this type of uh, Western engineering or scientific or uh, the very specific, systematic type of, uh, of, of, of culture and the strength, there's no way we can go there, okay? So, moving forward in uh, uh, Wing Chun, one need to do that. Or even uh, not only Wing Chun, everything about in the Chinese uh, 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 arts and so forth. Otherwise, it is really, really fuzzy. And it is not effective in learning and, and, and uh, have good quality too. So, uh, if we, if we uh, check out Whatever happened on the training from Zen to to uh, to Masya to everything, it is really not effective. Look at, say, how many students uh, out of one hundred really be able to handle the art, uh, learning a uh, Chinese uh, martial arts, okay. Uh, in the traditional way, so it need to be systematic. It need to be scientific. Otherwise, it's stuck. So when I wrote my book, okay, it is a fusion of East and West, just going scientific, going systematic and in details, okay, it's, so it is no longer like, oh yeah, Sifu say this and you listen to this and uh, a lot of things is a really fuzzy stuff, you cannot afford that. So to move forward, the East and West has to fuse, okay, now, Decades ago, Mr. Nan Huai Jing have uh, made the statement over here. Okay. So I highlight in the yellow, no, I, I tell you what it is. Okay. Over here, he is, he is asking why is Chinese culture turned into Qigong? Okay. Why is it happen like like that? Everything is chikong, okay? And he go, uh, Mister Nan Hai Jing go explain that in a uh, 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 Chinese martial art or Chinese practice or Chinese culture is actually have the wukong, okay, the martial art, which is having the external train the tendon, muscle, and bone internally train. The breathing, that's the wukong, belong to the wukong. And then one step forward, it is the qigong. Qigong is actually breathing. And breathing, uh, this is uh, uh, heavily linked to the Buddhism teaching of Anapanasati. Okay? And then one step inward, uh, upward or one step more advanced, it is neigong, which is internal art. So first is Wukong, okay, and then one step out is Qigong, and one step out is Neigong, and in the Qigong is breathing, okay, breathing, and the art of handling breathing or using the breathing to, uh, to, to handle the energy of the body, okay, or develop or cultivate the energy of the body, okay. So, of course, there's uh, other thing uh, on top of the Neigong, but let's settle with this three thing, okay? Wukong, Qigong, Neigong, okay? Over here it said uh, after Neigong there is Tao Gong and there is Chan Gong. Uh, we, let's not talk about that. We just talk about, let's talk about this three thing, okay? And if you look at this today, everybody's confusing, okay? And people call this Qigong, call this Neigong, and uh, God know what happened, okay? So we need to follow whatever happened in the Chinese culture is Wukong, Qigong, Neigong, and every one of them have its uh, have its uh, definitions. Okay, instead of jumping around, and over here, uh, Mister Nan Huai Jing say that here, why is uh, Chinese now is uh, 
always saying that uh, is a qigong practice qigong, and he say that uh, foreigner, okay, or uh, people who is not Chinese and now also uh, start to uh, become a mess, okay. And uh, he said that the uh, foreigner is uh, really easy to be cheated, okay. So. So all this mess. Okay, I I I'm, I don't say this. Okay, and you see that this is in record, black and white by the Chinese cultural expert Nan Huai Jing, who he is a martial artist, a top gen, uh, a patriarch, uh, internal art people, and this is what he said, put in writing. Okay. So let let's uh, really uh, uh, define it today. Get it clear. Wu Gong. Qi Gong, Nei Gong, okay, where are we, we need to know, instead of jumping around and if we don't even know what it is, how can we get anywhere if we don't even know where we want to go, okay, and this is the facts of Chinese culture, okay, now, many have uh, actually Confused between style and training content or practice. Style and training content and practice. Sure, in Chinese martial art, there's hard style or what, what we call usually call external style. Hard style, external style. And then there's a soft style or internal style. This is style. Okay? As for the training content of practice, which is saying external or externally trained tendon, muscle, bone, internal trained breathing or internally trained bleeding. This thing got nothing to do with style. They are different stuff. Okay, one is style, one is training content. So for example, if you're training hard style, external style, Still, you need to train the external train tendon, bone, and muscle. Internally train the breathing, okay? But it train different way, okay? So the hard style and the soft style, they train different way, even though they still train the, train, uh, the, the, the tendon, muscle, bone, and breathing. Okay, but they just train different way. So uh, don't get it wrong. Like uh, when you say externally trained tendon, muscle, bone, that means there's hard style. And, uh, and, and, and this here meaning that, oh yeah, you know, the, the hard and soft are mixed together because uh, uh, in the soft style, you still train uh, tendon, bone. Okay, Th those are ridiculous. Okay, so this is style. Hard and soft external and internal but under them they all train this external train tendon bone muscle and internal train breathing disregard of what stuff and this is have nothing to do with stuff okay get this clear because uh, this is really really important and a lot of things people mess today mess up between the style and the training content or practice okay with this is absolutely uh, really important we need to know okay now style have its limitations hard style have limitations that's why advanced art is soft style not hard style okay so this is according to Zhou Quan, an expert a grandmaster on the Chinese martial arts, uh, qi gong and nei gong, okay. Now, over here, over here, it said that. Over here, it said that. The external type of training can only train, the tendon, bone, and skin, and muscle, but it cannot train the internal organs, okay? So hard style 
even though they say uh, externally trained uh, tendon muscle and bones internally trained uh, breathing it will not be able to train to develop the internal organs there's a limitations okay however soft style soft style can train both meaning that it can train the external the bone the muscle the tendons internally it be able to train the internal organs okay so we need to know the hard style limitation okay soft style soft style can do what the hard style do but hard style can never do all the soft style do okay this is very important conclusion here okay we need to know that the hard style cannot do uh, what the soft style do but soft style can do all the hard style do okay now over here it say also soft style and hard style both training breathing but they are different and also it said that for those who train the hard style after about 40 years old mostly have damage in their internal organs okay so statistically we know whoever trained in hard style after for uh, around 40 years old one will have internal organ issue okay so this is the reality of soft style and hard style okay now let's look at the soft style of training here the soft style way of train the tendon muscle bones and joints it has to be as uh, again this is uh, from uh, Grandmaster Zhou Chuan you know the movement has to be soft okay natural loose and it has to be like snake like as it said here snake uh, slight warm move okay so every muscle every joints has to be open up okay and uh, move softly handling softly and every joint from the uh, the, uh, the 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 say the elbow the arm the hip the legs and uh, the, uh, the the wrist the finger the spine the neck everything has to be soft so as the, the term say snake slide warm move it is that soft okay it is not tensing up or, or something okay so that is the way how the soft style train the tendon muscle bone and joints okay it is not in a stress way okay now as for the breathing the soft style way of training breathing is one uh, this is here saying that Ruo Chun Ruo Wang. Ruo Chun Ruo Wang meaning that is it is at this is there and it is at this is not there. Okay? And here it said Mian Mian Put Wan. It is continuous very softly flow. Okay? So it's continuous softly flow and it's like not there. The minute one using intention to uh to to uh, to handle the uh, the breathing, focus in Dan Tian, okay? or focus in your lower abdomens or force the lower abdomens breathing or prolong breathing like a lot of us who do Xiu Lin Tao do that never be a soft stuff okay those are hard stuff those cannot train in uh, the, uh, the, 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 the internal art or the, uh, the, the, uh, the, the uh, internal organs okay so 
we see how the hard star, uh, the soft star train the, uh, uh, the, the, the joint, tendons, muscle, bones, and the uh, breathing. The descriptions is here. We know that, okay, if we violating that, then it is default to a heart style. And we know, expect after 40 years old, one will get problem in one's uh, internal organs. Expect that, okay? Now, just now we talk about Wukong, okay? The Wukong here. Okay, before the Qi Gong and then the Nei Gong. Now I would like to give you a taste of what it is. Okay, this page is from General Qi Ji Jing of uh, Ming Dynasty. This is the, 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 the book of the, uh, the, the, the Ming Dynasty military book. Within over here is listed uh, what type of martial art here uh, there exists. Okay, this is uh, prior to the uh, actually 1644. Okay, this is uh, prior to that because this is Ming Dynasty here and uh, this is Qing Dynasty. Okay, so, so this is 100 years before 1644 so also. So you can take it like this is the in the sixteen hundred uh, uh Chinese martial art. It tell you here about the uh different type of uh, martial arts here. Now everybody know about this. Now the key is this. Here it say Mian Zhang Duan Da, a type of short uh, short strike, close body short strike art, okay? Short strike art. We can find that we can track this down actually. Okay, and here I'd like to show you. This is a writing around 1785. Okay, this is the time where uh, we speculate or we track down that uh, Wing Chun or Xiu Lim Tao might be. Uh, uh, created at this time, but we do know that this is the period of time that uh, Wing Chun Xiu Lim Tao is created. Okay, so it, around this era. Now, at that time, here is a Mister Chang here, who wrote this book on the short strike, uh, close body short strike type of uh, uh, Wu Gong martial arts. Okay. So we can track it down. We know, okay? In that book, Triangle Steps is there. San Jiao Bu, Triangle Step. And here, this so called Zhi Zhi Bu. Guess what? This is the type of step in Yi Gam Xiu Lim Tao Part 4. Okay? As we know that Yi Gam Xiu Lim Tao Part 4. Is for sure exists in eighteen forty in Red Bolt era because Yikam was acting in the uh, Red Bolt at that era and this is what he passed down. Okay, so we can track and so this is also within the book. On how to play in the uh, uh, frontal combat. Okay, what to do. And here it said also, I want to uh, call, uh, call it for your attention. Shoot in. Use the term shoot in. Okay. Meaning because it need to get close. It need to shoot in. Or we call it slide in today. Okay, it is not a stay in a, a distance between here and, and punching each other. Okay. It is, has to shoot in to get close to the body. Okay? So, from Ming Dynasty, okay, 1600 era, we know this is Mianzhang Duan Da, okay? 
This is from the General Chi Chi Jing's uh, uh, books. We track it down to 785 from Chang, Mr. Zhang Hengqiu writing and teaching. We track whatever it is the content there, the footwork, and we can trace the techniques, okay, and the 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 uh, the, the way how uh, they get close body and so forth. Okay, this is of course this is just a sample, okay, to show you. We know about the wukong. We know about the wukong. We know we know what it is, okay, and uh. So we know this part, okay. So you say that uh, like the Wing Chun is that that difficult to understand, uh, to to check into uh, what has happened in the past. Absolutely no, because we know this stuff, okay. We know uh, what happened uh, in uh, in this time, which is uh, the same era, which is uh, the Wing Chun uh, uh, Xiu Lim Tao was uh, created as we. As we track down, okay, or we calculate, make a calculate, uh, to see what is most likely, okay, and we know. The erme, this is from erme, this the the soft uh, art, how to uh, develop the bone and joints, and uh, how the breathing has to be. We see the big picture. What's going on there, okay. So. If we look at that, this is the wukong, this is the martial art, and it has its externally trained tendon muscle bone, internally trained the breathing. We know this part, pretty clear. And in fact, we even know this part based on the er main stuff. And we, we also know this part, okay, the nei gong. Now, in general, you see the Buddhist art being er main, si zhuang, or shaolin, or oh, you know all this Buddhist art, and if you look at the uh, uh Mister, uh Nan Huai Jing's uh, study, since he's a martial artist too, prior to he 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 gave it up. It linked to the Chinese Buddhism Anapanasati, so meaning that uh. From Wukong, once one learned this, and. One have the anapanasati that lead one into the qigong, or breathing. State, okay, or, which is uh using that to influence the energy, and then further of anapanasati, it get to the nei gong where it can have the three flow, the full body breathing, the qi channel flow, and the force flow. And here is where the six healing sound come in because now it can influence the internal organs. This is the internal works. So it is just uh, as simple as this: the wukong, with the anapanasati, the breathing method. You go into the qi gong, and then you further go into the nei gong, in moving inward. Okay. So so that is why the reality is instead of uh today we talk about qi gong nei gong we don't even know what it is and then we confuse between the externally training the bone, uh, muscle thinking that oh yeah you know internal art uh I turn the uh, train externally too what what are we talking about okay. And I want to call your attention too. This stuff the nei gong stuff here. It has to be self style, when you get to this point, okay. As we see from this before. The limitations. Of hard style. It cannot go too far, okay. It's stuck there. If you do the external art, it it will not get there, and uh, even the force the force of flow is called yin gong jing, hard bow jing, hard go hard bow power. Hard bow force. This is external, uh, style gong fu. That is not uh the internal art uh, uh force flow handling. Those are different stuff. Okay. So. We know by today, <coughs> we know. Today, what most people have is a partial of the wukong. 
have no idea mostly on qi gong and nei gong okay it's like a root block here one never going down but this is partial and then one keeping adding whole bunch of stuff and it's become a mess here okay and then uh, everybody interpret like Mr. Nan Fai Jing say, oh, you call everybody everything Qi Gong now. And then the foreigner follow that, that the chaotic situation too. Okay. So everything turned into the mess. Okay. So this is the situation today. Okay. So if we keep in clamping our, our knee, uh, 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 try to do Xiu Lin Tao one hour, uh, holding the breath and whole bunch of stuff. How is it supposed to be qi gong, nei gong and soft? An uh, internal art? It cannot be. Okay? Look at the limitations. Okay? It just it's just not belong to that uh, internal or soft style type of uh, 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 art. It just uh, we try to pop uh, 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 market it and, and, and we just make claim but it will never deliver because we know from what uh, this uh, uh, thing which is I just show you guys on the uh, ancient Chinese it is not the way how things operate okay so the reason why I, uh, I make this uh, 6133 formulate this 6133 is because without the 6133 we will not be able to understand what's going on and are traveling uh, to, 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 to the systematic way and comprehensive and detailed and scientific way uh, how to study all this stuff, okay? Uh, without the 613.3, we are stuck here, keeping a uh, spinning here to create a mess, okay? And, and, and being partial here, uh, we were here. Instead, we're thinking we are here or we are here and nobody quite sure. So, that is the mess what I see in, the, uh, in, in all this uh, uh, message from uh, our Wing Chun friend these few days talking about Song. Okay? And uh, this is what I'd like to share with you today. Uh, let's get rid of those uh, mysterious internal art uh, mysterious chi in a Xiu Lin Tao, mind power and all those stuff. If we want to do proper training, make sure we get the Wukong proper. Make sure and then we get something like Anapanasati or equivalent so that we really train Qi Gong, which can influence the energy, you know, handling the breathing. And make sure after that we can further the Anapanasati, okay, and uh, get into the handling of the internal organs and the three flow, okay, then it will sure deliver because this is what the ancient Chinese culture is uh, having, okay. Uh, we, we just do not want to, to get stuck here and keeping argue and debate and, uh, and, and everybody want to be grandmaster, claim everything, and guess what? If we continue to do this, 20 years later, all the main, uh, mainstream will, will laugh at us like uh, we are cold. Okay? But if we do this, we fuse the scientific, the Western uh, cultural strength, the scientific and everything, uh, which is a systematic, which is uh, good to get things done with the Chinese uh, uh, cultural strength okay we fuse that together we fuse that together then we can move forward everybody happy everybody will progress okay so uh, this is what I like to share with you today and uh, I hope that you understand that Things like uh, the soft style way of doing thing, the internal art way of doing thing, and the uh, the Wu Gong from the Ming Dynasty, uh, how the the, 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 the footwork, the uh, the the the, uh, the short uh, close body short strike and everything, still traceable. So one cannot just go define Wing Chun as one one or create more. Uh, 
uh, uh, stories. Okay, uh, whatever happened in uh, today, in the uh, in the myth or the legend, we need to know. We need to screen it off. It is either it's a story. It is either it is a smoke screen or it is a chasm. We need to know what uh, when when we see something. Okay. Uh, do not fall into trap here. Get something from here. Bring it here. Fuse it with the uh with the uh, with the scientific and uh, the the systematic and get result. Okay, so we want to get thing from here. Fuse it with the scientific, and then get result. Get real result. Then everybody is happy. Okay, if we stuck here, it's a dead end. So uh, this is uh, to share with you today.